Hello everyone and welcome, my name is Vincent and this is my first quick tutorial in which I want to recreate the vertex soft body growing effect in Cinema 4D. So let's get started. I want to start with this abstract object and to make it even more spicy I'm using a cloner here and in the cloner you need to switch from grid to object. In the object you drag and drop the object which you want to spice up. Then let's create a volume builder and a volume measure. Put everything in there. So I have my cloner my rundy boy then i want to smooth everything or i'm dilating it a little bit and then smoothing after that put it into a remesher so now our mesh is more updated and a bit cooler and to quickly see how my new mesh looks press nb the remesher did a wonderful job let's copy this guy or let's press c to convert it and the copied version we put back into our hierarchy and we want to hide them. so hide everything here then let's drag our remesher and let's call it hero as a next step quickly switch to uv edit we want to make very basic uv so apply automatic uv good enough for now go back to startup select a few polygons now press shift c and let's go for vertex weight Select the first one here and let's go for 100%. Then select the vertex map, go to use, transfer, click on the freeze, click on mode, change it to grow. Change the radius to 2 and the speed to 10. Let's press play and see how quickly it's spreading. That's a bit too fast. So let's make the radius 1 and the strength 8. You can tweak the look of it by adding more effects with shader fields. And I also did that. So let's directly switch to our final one. So for now, Let's delete the cloth tag and only have a look onto our vertex map. It's a bit slow, but you can see things are changing. Cool. Then as a next step, select your object, press shift C, go for soft body. Then select the object, go right click, go simulation tag and go for soft body. Now we want to animate the balloon. So activate the balloon, put the pressure on one, go to frame 180, put the pressure on four. Now I want to drag and drop the vertex map, which we just created and put it in here. With the vertex map, we are driving the pressure. So you can see it's starting to inflate at some objects. Weird things are happening. Let's change that. Go to the surface, change the bendiness to 200, select the vertex map, put it in there as well. Change the stretchiness to 25, reduce the thickness to 0.2, change the softness to 800 or let's even say 8000 and drag and drop the vertex map in there. For mix animation let's activate force and let's reduce the strength to 0.1. Also go into the soft body and turn off the lines, we don't want to see them. Let's press play. A bit more, drag and drop the vertex map in here as well and make the stretchiness a bit more and also bendiness a bit more. Then let's also activate the target length so the object can grow and let's drag and drop our vertex map once again. This is also like a fun game. You can apply the vertex map wherever you want. I would say this is super cool and I'm done with the simulation part. Let's just select the object, go to cache and cache the scene. Depending on the speed of your computer, this might take a while. For the rendering part, we need to switch to our selected render engine. I'm using Redshift. Let's activate it. And I will quickly only show you the basic concepts of how to blend two materials together. Let's adjust the camera a little bit and you can see that we definitely need more tessellation. It's not subdivided enough. Go to your object, right click, go to render text and select redshift object. In the geometry, we want to override everything. And I don't need screen space adaptiveness. And um, let's start with two subdivisions. So zero and two, that is looking good. Select the material which we created. Create another standard material and a material blender. Connect everything together put it into the output and I will change the color so you see how it works. Then as the next thing, create a vertex map in the Redshift shader node. So vertex attribute, drag and drop the vertex map in here. Now I just need to blend the color with the vertex map and this is the final material. So this material one, for example, this is a red metal now and material two. You can do whatever you want with these ones. Create some cool shadings and the cool thing is the vertex map is growing over time. It changes the whole appearance. We start with material one at the beginning and with material two we end. So I hope you like this tutorial and see you on the next one. So you made it till the end and I hope this was understandable as I'm trying out new concepts of teaching and new ways of tutorials. And I know this is quite fast and complicated. But if you wanted a bit more detail and a bit slower, you can also check out my Patreon where these informations are definitely longer. So yeah, thanks for watching and I hope to see you in the future. Bye bye.